Engineered wood siding is just clapboard reinvented. With its rough grain, it resembles natural wood. But these boards contain strands of wood that are resin bonded for strength and durability. And they're also treated to resist rot and termites. You could say it's jolly good wood. Engineered wood siding is literally a chip off the old block. Lots of chips for that matter. But how do they transform wood chips into a solid piece of wood? It all starts with aspen and other kinds of wood. They transfer the logs to ponds to maintain a consistent moisture content and temperature until production. The logs travel on a conveyor where grooved rollers feed them into a debarker. It shaves off both the tree bark and the cambium, which is the soft green layer beneath. And this exposes the white aspen wood. Circular saws now cut the logs into smaller chunks, which are known as bolts. The bolts now meet a machine called the waferizer, a 9-ton steel disc that holds 48 razor-sharp knives. When this disc spins, the knives slice the bolts into wafer-thin chips, known as strands, in just seconds. The strands are the same length, but slightly different widths. They remain flat and don't curl up, thanks to the stability of the aspen wood itself. A conveyor delivers the wood strands to large steel bins, and from here, they're fed at a controlled rate to a dryer one floor below. Heated by a furnace, this cylindrical dryer rotates to tumble dry the aspen strands. A blender then coats the strands with resin adhesive, wax for moisture resistance, and a preservative to ward off rot and termites. A release agent is sprayed onto the next conveyor to prevent the strands from sticking to it. The first layer is put down so the strands all land in the same direction. The next falls in a more random configuration, and the third layer is again uniform and parallel. Layering the strands will provide dimensional stability in the finished boards, and the result is a loosely interwoven mat of wood. A carriage now moves a large circular saw back and forth to cut the mat into sections, approximately five meters in length. A steel carriage stretches a sheet of heavy industrial grade paper across the matte strands. The paper's been coated with a primer and saturated with a durable adhesive that bonds with the wood strands. A multi-tiered press closes to both compact the mats and bake them. The heat and residual moisture activate the resins to turn wood strands and paper into one solid piece of engineered wood. press opens to reveal the cured and compacted composite sheets. The thickness has gone from roughly 10 centimeters to just under 1 centimeter. This conveyor also doubles as a scale to confirm the content of each sheet is exact. Saws trim the sides and slice the sheet in two. The sheets then get pushed forward and another saw trims both the ends. No waste wood here. The trimmings are ground up and used as fuel for the dryer. They now have a stack of 40 engineered wood sheets that are ready to be turned into siding boards. The boards are pushed one at a time into saws that slice them to the correct dimensions. Now cut to strips, they exit in a cluster and then separate. A paint gun coats the trimmed edges with primer and this seals any exposed wood from the elements. After a trip through the oven to dry the primer, they head towards an inspection station where they're checked for blemishes or damage. If any is found, the board is rejected. Following production, the siding is painted to the customer's exact requirements. And then, it's off to its new home, which as it happens, is on the side of someone else's.